What's happening? It's Ryan sledding side by sides. <clears throat> Sorry for the road noise. I live on a pretty major highway, so it is what it is. But what you see behind me is going to be a toy hauler. This is my $500 Facebook Marketplace special. <laughs> it is a 2000 Aerolite 28 foot camper when i first seen it it was cheap i'm like man 500 bucks that ain't too bad we'll uh we'll take a look at it i wasn't was basically looking for just a camper frame all i wanted was a frame i didn't want to have to deal with tearing anything apart gutting all this junk i did not want one complete at all i looked at a couple of them messaged some people with like 30 foot frames and pretty much got nowhere you know marketplace it can be a real pain in the butt but anyway so after a couple deals fell through i ended up uh coming on to this one and uh yeah open the door <laughs> and uh yeah bam it's pretty much gutted the uh apparently they had a water leak or something and uh it's 90 percent gutted so i'm like sold gotta have it so i mean the unique thing about this is it's an aerolite 28 foot supposedly this thing only weighed like 3800 pounds brand new and this is why the frame is super light which is what I wanted. I wanted something light. I didn't want an old, huge old camper frame that, you know, weighs a ton. And just, I didn't want that. So this turns out to be really nice. It's got torque, got the torque style axles. Now you can't see it here, but. So, asked him if the AC unit worked. He didn't have a clue. My gut told me that it probably worked. Wasn't 100%, so that was the first thing I did when I got home. Is uh, I tore the top off it, found the main uh, main line, hooked a little ghetto plug to it, and uh, it works. It blows cold. So that was worth the 500 bucks all in itself. Basically, everything else from here on out is free. So we're definitely going to be taking that out, transferring it to. Uh, our project basically what we're going to be doing is this whole thing's getting ripped off and we basically measured from basically that wall right there where this wall starts up to just at this door right here is about eight foot so what we're going to do is we're just going to make a probably an eight by eight uh little box it's uh it's going to be a project but uh I think it's going to turn out really, really well. We're probably going to cut. We're probably. We're probably going to cut probably four or five feet off of the back. Just because the axles are so far forward. If you load it a side by side on this back part of the frame. You would not want to pull this down the road. So we're going to cut it probably somewhere maybe right in here. So you get 90% of the weight of the side-by-side -side on the axles. And that'll be a lot better. I don't have to move them. I don't have to mess around with any of that junk. So, but yeah, basically we're just going to make a, going to make a flatbed up to the little, uh, you know, the, the sleeping area, coach area, whatever you want to call it. We're going to make a flatbed. And uh, probably some ramps so we can just drive the side by side right up, lock it down, and uh, kind of go ride, do whatever we need to do. I mean, I mean, basically we're gonna have, basically we're gonna have like a bed, uh, maybe another like fold down bunk, so in case somebody wants to come with us, we are gonna have a shower. Shower is an absolute must. Like when you're riding side by sides all day, dealing with dust, dealing with mud, dealing with, you know, you know, if you're riding. 
you got side by side you know the deal you know what's up you want to take a shower at the end of the day so that's what we're gonna do but uh yeah gonna have ac obviously and then uh over time we'll probably add features to it but for right now we just want to get it basically usable as soon as possible and we're just gonna go with the bare minimum uh not sure how we're gonna do the front yet jake's got some pretty good ideas he actually built a uh cargo box on the back of a van when he was racing motorcycles dirt bikes so he kind of knows darty told me he's got the perfect way to build that fairly cheap and light so that should, should be interesting because that's basically what we're going for i want this thing with the living quarters and the side by side loaded on it i want it like five thousand pounds or less i don't want anything heavy not that the tundra can't pull that i just i don't know i don't want to have to pull something heavy if we want to go down to tennessee or if we want to go down to kentucky if we want to go on a long trip i just want to be able to cruise and i have to worry about overworking a truck or having issues on the side of the road because you just i don't know just i want something light that's 100 percent but yeah i mean for 500 bucks you really can't beat it i mean you got windows we're gonna reuse the windows we're gonna reuse both these doors it's got a spare tire spare tires brand new i haven't looked at it that hard to see if it's all dry rotted all the other four tires are pretty much junk so you got to get four tires got to go through the bearings uh but the uh uh trailer brakes they work nothing else works none of the lights worked nothing basically there this thing was dead to the world when i was pulling it home a little sketchy but hey what are you gonna do i wasn't wasting any time trying to hook up lights this and that weren't going that far and once it got to my house it wasn't going to see the road for quite a while so i really didn't care but uh yeah the first couple times i stopped and really notice it at first and then as i was getting farther along i'm like man the trailer brakes freaking work i looked down and my brake controller was turned on and you know i'm, I'm like wow the trailer brakes work i feel like they work pretty dang good so that's a bonus because that's another must i wanted you know trailer brakes when you start pulling a long distance you want you want trailer brakes just just nice but uh yeah we're gonna get this thing gutted. We're gonna get all the windows out of it. We're gonna get everything that I want out of it. And then I got a pretty good idea how to get this off this frame. And you're gonna wanna watch that because it's gonna be pretty uh, epic. Not gonna lie. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe. You're gonna wanna see this build. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.